This reenactment from the files of the Vermont State Police features the true story of Trooper Todd Chisholm in an unusual day he spent in church. Real troopers of the Vermont State Police portray those involved in our recreation. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you, and I wanted to go over some of the events that uh, we were going to be responsible for this week. And I just wanted to remind you that we committed ourselves to bringing meals into the Burlington Emergency Shelter on Wednesday night. The pastor of a local community church is holding a meeting with a group of younger members of his congregation. Most of them have grown up together and are childhood friends. In the back of the church is 27-year-old Louis Hornberg. You could be here for adult Sunday school class at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. That would... Louis? Louis, she shouldn't have left who shouldn't have left you? Lewis, Lewis, take it easy. Upset that his wife has left him, he's gone on an all-day drinking binge. Sit down, sit down. Lewis, take it easy. Let's talk As the pastor tries to calm the young man down, one of the parishioners manages to sneak out. Yes, I need the police right away, please. Now. Vermont State Police Trooper Todd Chisholm is the supervisor on duty. He immediately heads for the church. Please, let us help you. You've got to calm down. One of Hornberg's friends feels sorry for him and tries to help him, but the troubled young husband continues to hold the group hostage. We know what you're going through. No, you don't. Yes, we do. You don't understand anything. There's a man in the church. He has a gun and there's people in there with him. He's already fired. He's already fired yes. around the church. Okay, guys, seal off the building. No one goes in the church. Lewis, it will be okay. The Please gunman's friends continue to ask Lewis to put down his gun and let them go. A state police sergeant arrives, and Trooper Chisholm fills him in. Okay, what do we got? We got a hostage situation here, Sarge. We got one guy inside with a loaded weapon. He's got about a half a dozen hostages. Okay, where are our guys right now? We've got a perimeter set up around the church right now at this point. We're not anything! Suddenly, the gunman changes his mind. The hostages escape through a side door. The distraught young man is now outside, where Trooper Chisholm can talk to him. The gun down. Put it down. It's loaded, you know. I know it's loaded. We've already shot around in, in the roof of the church. We know it's loaded. Just put the gun down so we can talk. Put, put your it, gun down. I can't do that, Lewis. I just want you to put it down so we can talk. Come on over, and we'll talk for a while. I want to talk to my wife. His wife's name is Mary. Tell him we'll get her down. We'll get Mary down. A detective lieutenant feeds Chisholm information about the irrational young man. Lewis, stop. Lewis, stop. Put the gun down, Lewis. Hornberg stop. now heads back to the church. Lewis, put the gun down. Lewis, put the gun down. That's good. Come on over here, Lewis. Come on back. Come on, Lewis, stop. Lewis. Inside the church, Hornberg sees that his no! hostages have escaped. The young man is now very Lewis, drunk stop. and stumbles outside. Lewis, you found the gun. Hornberg Lewis, is still brandishing stop. his gun as he attempts to elude the troopers. In the parking lot, he surprises Constable Jerry Kokonis and takes him hostage, threatening to kill him. Vermont Trooper Chisholm faces a life and death decision when we come back. She shouldn't have left me. Who should have left me? Vermont Trooper Todd Chisholm has been called to a church. There, an armed suicidal man, upset over his wife leaving him, is threatening friends and the state police. The man leaves the church, but before the troopers can get to him, he surprises the local constable. But the young man won't stop and leads his hostage away, continuing to threaten Lewis. his life. Lewis, put the gun down. Lewis! 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 Get up, you son of a bitch! Lewis! This was a tragedy. It, it's very unfortunate that the gunman did have to die in this incident. However, many lives were saved due to our training and, and the professionalism at, at this incident, and um, everything turned out as well as it possibly could have, given those circumstances. Constable Kokonis retired due to health problems and still lives in Vermont. Lewis Hornberg was killed instantly. In this